Hi everyone, welcome back. So today I'll be talking about my experiences with two of the vitamin C skincare products from The Ordinary. But before I get into this review, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I post new makeup and skincare reviews all the time. And if this is something that you're interested in, consider subscribing so you can be alerted when I post new content. So I purchased a few skincare items from The Ordinary a few months ago. You can check out my haul video here if you'd like to see some of the other products I'm working with currently. So I was going to do a full review of all the products in one video, but I wasn't sure how long that video would end up being. We all have busy lives, we all have things to do. So instead, I will be breaking down my reviews into shorter videos, highlighting one or two products at a time. So I bought two vitamin C products from The Ordinary. So the first product is the vitamin C suspension 23% with hyaluronic acid spheres of 2%. So this product is $5.80 and you get one fluid ounce of product, which compared to other vitamin C products on the market is a lot cheaper. So this product contains l acid, which has been shown to reverse multiple signs of aging while brightening the skin when applied topically. It protects your skin from environmental stressors as well as helping with skin lightening and hyperpigmentation. So this product is a little different than most vitamin C formulas because it's not formulated with water or silicones. So l acid comes in a powder form, but in order for us to apply it to our skin and have it absorb, it's usually formulated with water. However, water causes the product to become unstable and oxidize over time because of the oxygen. So these formulations must be within the perfect pH balance in order for the product to remain stable. The addition of other antioxidants such as ferulic acid and vitamin E also help to stabilize the vitamin C. When l acid products are formulated at higher percentages such as this at 23%, it's even more difficult to keep the product stable and within the perfect pH range. So this product contains no water, so it's not dependent on a pH balance and it doesn't oxidize. But because there's no water, the l acid doesn't dissolve within the product, so it has a slightly gritty texture to it. So the question is, how much of this product actually dissolves once it hits your skin? So of course, your skin contains water. So the theory behind this product is once you apply this to your skin, the l acid will dissolve, allowing the vitamin C to be absorbed into the skin. With the added bonus of the product not being pH dependent or oxidizing. So let's read some of the claims on The Ordinary's website because this formula is a suspension of l acid. So it says on The Ordinary's website that because this product is a suspension of l acid, there are two things to consider. The first is a very strong tingling but non-irritating sensation is expected during the first one to two weeks of use until skin's tolerance is to such high exposure is elevated. If the sensation is too strong to tolerate, the formula can be mixed on each application with other creams or serums of your preference. And the second is the powder's exposure to the skin disallows the formula to feel like a serum, lotion, or cream, and each application requires a few seconds to feel absorbed by the skin. This formula feels gritty for a few seconds after application. What this means is this is not going to feel like your usual moisturizer or serum. It almost feels like a physical exfoliant for the skin. The texture is really grainy and almost uncomfortable. At least that was my experience with it. Now on its own, the l acid did not dissolve quickly onto my skin and left my face really shiny. So that kind of leaves me wondering how much of the product was being absorbed into my skin. That's probably why it's formulated at such a high percentage. So they did say you could expect a strong tingling and irritating sensation. I didn't have that. What I experienced was more of a burning and a stinging. And my face turned beet red. And you are supposed to use this at night. I didn't do that. I made the mistake of putting this on during the day. Fortunately, I didn't have to go anywhere. So on its own, this was a skincare fail for me. Between the shininess of the product and the grittiness and the burning, it just, it just wasn't a good fit for my skin type and I definitely couldn't get makeup to work with it. Now I did try this with my regular moisturizer which was the Cetaphil Daily Facial Moisturizer for Sensitive Skin. 
I didn't have the burning and I didn't have the stinging. The grittiness went away. It was still way too shiny for my skin. And no matter what I did, I couldn't get my makeup to blend with this product. So the second vitamin C product, I've actually gotten much more use out of. It's almost gone here. This is the Magnesium Ascorbyl Phosphate 10%. It's a brightening hydrator stabilized with vitamin C derivative. This product is $9.60. You get one fluid ounce of product, so it's a little bit pricier, not much more, than the suspension product. So this product is stable in water, but less potent than the ascorbic acid. It's also much less irritating on the skin. So this formula is a light cream that offers a 10% pure magnesium ascorbyl phosphate. And reading from The Ordinary's website, aside from the general benefits of pure vitamin C, magnesium ascorbyl phosphate has been shown to offer specific skin brightening benefits more so than other derivatives of vitamin C. So between the two vitamin C products, I you can see I definitely enjoyed this one more. It wasn't greasy, it absorbed very quickly into my face and I had no trouble layering makeup with it. So one of my issues is I have struggled with slight hyperpigmentation on my forehead area and just slightly under both my eyes since the age of 12. Around the age of 12, coincidentally enough, was when puberty kicked in. That's when I started developing these slight dark patches. So the next question is, did either of these products help? I would have to say yes. I didn't use this one long enough to really give it a fair shot. Because of the burning and the stinging, I couldn't bring myself to reach for this one regularly. The biggest change using this product has been in my forehead area. I had a discolored area that pretty much extended my entire forehead. It wasn't super dark, but I'm pretty fair, so any slight discoloration is noticeable. After using this for about eight weeks, most of that discoloration has completely faded away with the exception of a teeny, teeny, tiny area here. So I'm going to keep using the Magnesium Ascorbyl Phosphate. I'm going to also be placing an order, another order with Desium soon. Um, there are a couple of other vitamin C products in the line. I believe there's a total of four and I want to give them a shot as well. So I hope you found this video helpful. Um, I hope it was informative enough. If you have any questions regarding either one of these products, please leave them in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!